Okay, so your part B of the U-value questions, often you're asked to calculate how much oil is needed to heat um, the house, taking into consideration um, the U-value and the makeup of a certain part of the house, for example, the wall, the floor, or whatever it may be. Uh, again, a fairly straightforward calculation. If it's practice, if it's learned off by heart, it's very, very manageable. As I said, it's often part B, could be part C, but we'll say for now it's usually the part B. The question we're going to do here now again is a question we've all done before in class. I'm just showing you this to go back through the steps for anybody who was absent, for anyone who struggled. Um, if you can do one, you can use this to work off of to do um, all the rest of the questions. Nothing changes, only the numbers and the data. There's five steps involved, and which I have written down here. All right, step one, um, you must calculate the total heat loss per second. That's, that's calculated in joules, joules per second. A joule is a unit of energy. Uh, step two, amount of time that the heat is on. We must calculate how long the heating is on in the house all year long, and that is, must be in seconds. Um, number Step three, the total heat loss per year in kilojoules. Step four, the amount of oil used per year in liters, and step five, we then find the cost of oil per year. All right. Um, if anybody wants to find those five steps, obviously they're here in front of you, but also they're in the U value notes that I have emailed on TV already. Okay. The question we're going to look at, as I said, it's in those U value notes. It's in your hardbacks because um, it's a question we've done before. This is just for students who are absent or anyone who wants to recap how this is done. In a part B of a question, if you're asked to calculate the cost of oil that is needed to heat that certain part, you're going to be given a table like this. Okay, lots of information in this table. Majority of it, of it won't make any sense to you. Technically speaking, it doesn't really need to make much sense. We just need to be able to put this information into the formula to find out what we need. Okay, in this particular question, because we're just focusing on a U, um, a part B, the U value is given often you would have to carry your U value from part A into part B, okay? Um, right, using that information, we're gonna go forward and start doing all of these steps. I'm gonna start off with step one, the total heat loss um, per second in the house. So the formula that you need to learn to find the total heat loss is U value multiplied by and um, the area of the wall that we're dealing with multiplied by the temperature difference temperature okay that is a formula you must learn off by heart to find out the total heat loss per second all right now if we go back over here we have the u value given to us, 0 0.1645. The area of the wall, given to us, 152. And the temperature difference, that means the difference between the external temperature and the internal temperature, or the outside temperature and the inside temperature. All right, so we must find, we basically need to take this away from this to find your temperature difference. All right, a very, very simple calculation. That basically results in 0. 1645 multiplied by 152 and that temperature difference works out at 11. So we'll get our calculator and we will do that up 0 0.1645 multiplied by 152 multiplied by 11 apologies now you can see there I've made a mistake um, so I need to clear that 0 0.1645 multiplied by 152 multiplied by 11 okay which gives us a total um, a total heat loss per second of 275 Point zero four four, and that is joules per second.
technically speaking, you don't have to put in that unit of measurement. I am just putting it in to show you. And again, a joule is a unit of energy. Okay. Now, we're, going, we're now going to go on to step two. Step two, you must um, calculate the amount of time that the heat is on. And this must be in seconds. So it's going to be a huge number. So in the whole year, how many seconds is the heating on in this house? In this house, the calculation that you have to do here is the weeks per year multiplied by days per week. multiplied by hours per day multiplied by minutes per hour multiplied by seconds per minute okay now, the weeks per year that the heating is on in this house, it's not going to be all year long because obviously they won't be using the heating in summertime. But the question will tell us here the heating period, 11 hours a day, 41 weeks per year. So that means it's at 41 weeks per year. Days per week, it doesn't say in the question, so we assume it's seven days a week. Multiply by hours per day. It says in the question that it's on for 11 hours per day. That's in the question. Um, minutes per hour, we know there's 60 minutes in an hour. And seconds per minute, we know there's 60 seconds per minute. So it's weeks. Uh, it's this multiplied by this, multiplied by this, multiplied by this, multiplied by this. This and this are given to us in the question. Here, here, and here. It's just common sense um, that gets us those. When we multiply those out, we get it. Um, we'll do that now on the calculator. So we have 41 multiplied by 7, multiplied by 11, multiplied by 60, multiplied by 60. And that gives us 1, 1, 3, 6, 5. 200. That's the amount of seconds the heating is on in that full year. Okay, that brings us on to step three. Step three, what we must calculate here is the total heat loss per year, and that must be calculated in kilojoules. So, step three, what we must the formula that we must understand is that it is the information from part two multiplied by the information from part one. So that is the seconds multiplied by the joules per second. Okay, that basically is one, one, three, six, five, two, zero, zero, multiplied by two, seven, five, point zero, four, we get our calculator 11365200 multiplied by 275.044 that will give us a full answer there now this answer must be in kilojoules that at the moment is in joules so what you must do then is divide that by a thousand and that will give you the answer you're looking for. So that's essentially, you do that divided by a thousand. And that gives us three, one, two, five, nine, three, zero. Um, and we can leave out those decimal points on that. So three, one, two, five, nine, three, zero. That's step three done. That's probably three trickier steps of that. Okay, that's kilojoules. Now, going on to step four. Step four, we now need to calculate the amount of oil used per year. So what we need to do for step four is multiply the total oil used
sorry, divided by the calorific value. Now the calorific value is a term that you never heard before. You don't really need to understand. The calorific value of the oil is basically the good quality of the oil. And the calorific value is given to us here is 37350 kilojoules per liter. Okay, the total amount of oil used is basically um what we what we the answer that we got from part three. So what we have is three one two five nine three zero divided by three seven three five four okay so three one two five nine three zero divided by three seven three five oh and that will give us eighty three point six nine again a very long number but point six nine that is fine okay that's the amount of liters of oil are used per year to heat just that wall step five your final step what we need to find then is the cost because that's basically what we're doing we're trying to calculate the cost of oil that's been used all right so it's basically a simple thing of the amount of liters multiply by the price per liter the amount of liters we have up here which is 83.69 the price per liter again is information that is given to us in the question and um, cost of oil 88 cent per liter just bear in mind 88 cent is 0 0.88 so we get our calculator here, 83.69 multiplied by 0 0.88, and that gives us a total of 73.64 um, euros. Okay, that is the cost um, of the oil that is required to heat just that wall of the house. Um, when it's your first time doing those five steps, it seems like a lot. But when you practice and practice and practice, uh, it gets quite straightforward and quite easy. And again, the procedure doesn't change. The only thing that changes is the number. Okay.